Hi, my name is Andrew Maddox. I'm the uh, park manager two at Arkansas Headwaters Recreation Area. And uh, put together today a, an intro to avalanche uh, field rescue uh, up here on Cottonwood Pass. Um, we've got mostly park rangers here um, from throughout the whole state. Uh, we've got park rangers from as far north as Steamboat uh, Lake and uh, I think as far south as Ridgeway. Th this training, um, this gets people thinking about um, avalanches. We go out and work in avalanche terrain on snowmobile patrols throughout the winter and uh, we're kind of kicking off that season with this training here and wanting to get people to th start thinking about avalanches and, and what they may encounter and uh, how to keep themselves safe and how to educate the, the public while they're out there on patrols um, in avalanche safety. So we started down in the parking lot uh, and, and we split up into groups of four, small groups. Uh, I, um, also another uh, agency that's participating in this is uh, the Colorado Avalanche Information Center. And so we have two of the forecasters that came along um, to help teach and they're up here instructing right now. And we started off in, in that group uh, was going over the avalanche bulletin. And that's something that their agency puts out uh, daily uh, to let the public know what kind of avalanche danger there is and what they should be looking for when they go out. The next station, uh, John Fell from Arkansas Headwaters was going through a beacon check and making sure that everybody that was out there was using a beacon transceiver and that it was operating to its um, capacity. It was transmitting and searching appropriately. Uh, the next station, uh, Tom Waters from Arkansas Headwaters, he put that on and uh, that was an accountability is kind of what we called that. And that was, hey, it's early season. We got a lot of people out here today and we want to make this the safest event today as possible. And then um, I had a station down there and we went over equipment, uh, th things that you need to carry when you're traveling into avalanche country. After we got done with our, uh, our stations down in the parking lot, we rode up um, up Cottonwood Pass about six miles. Um, we're sitting in a, a bowl just below tree line, right around 11,200 feet. Uh, this uh, a great training training spot up here, this big, big, nice meadow. We see avalanches here. The hillside behind me right now tends to slide quite frequently. And so we're in the middle of avalanche terrain. We're in a safe zone right here, but we have avalanche terrain all around us. So it's a great training site where we can actually see things that potentially have happened or could happen and use those as real life um, situations. We again, we're split into four different stations and now we're kind of getting more into the, the nuts and bolts of, of working and, and, and and what we're going to be doing when we're out in the backcountry, and and uh, so b behind us over here, we were dealing, uh, we were introducing to beacon searches, and so we had a uh, single be beacon search scenario, and it's it's getting your beacon out and, and changing it over into the search function, and and going out and finding a, a single beacon that's buried out in the snow, and and being able to pinpoint it down to within a meter or so of, of where it is, and so that's kind of that's one of the first stages in, a, in an avalanche rescue. Once you've been able to find that then we go to probing and shoveling. And that's another one of our, our scenarios that uh, Bex from CAIC is leading up. And it's getting that probe out and pinpointing the uh, the victim that's buried down there and knowing the proper technique so you're not missing any any of the spots. And, and, and then once you've pinpointed them, there's techniques on how to shovel them out and dig them out most efficiently and to get them out as quick as possible because it's, it's a time, uh, the clock's ticking when there's someone buried underneath the snow. One of the others, uh, the other two scenarios were more on the, the science and how to avoid and, and what goes into that avalanche bulletin. And, and so uh, Ian from CAIC is doing a little bit of snow science and he, he's dig, he dug a pit wall and, and he's looking at the, the different layers in the snow and, and trying to identify what's gone on and, and kind of a history of our, our snowpack of what's gone on. And, and that all plays into how they how they put the bulletin out and gives people an, an idea of, of what's going into it. It's not just somebody sitting behind a computer uh, throwing things out there from what they think. They're actually out here hands-on uh, working in the snow and, and getting a good idea of what the avalanche hazard is. And then the, the last station uh, that I was going through is um, is identifying avalanche terrain. So figuring out what components there are in the avalanche terrain, uh, what makes up an avalanche, and then being able to look at it, see it, and avoid it so that you don't find yourself caught in a situation um, and getting trapped in an avalanche. This class is, is a refresher for most folks and just getting them thinking about avalanches and the background and everything that goes into that. And it's a one day class and we're out here for a few hours and uh, some people spend days and days 
dealing with avalanche training, training for these situations. So this is a one day class to get the get people thinking about it and, and hopefully encouraging them to go out and get more avalanche education.